Hello everybody, this is Jim Mounty at uh, BWCA Cast. It's a beautiful day, beautiful spring day, and we're getting ready to go canoeing again in the Boundary Waters. Uh, as we we're looking through some of our equipment, uh, we noticed we got a hole here in the canoe. Uh, we tried to patch last fall and we need to put a, a more permanent patch on it now. Uh, as your equipment gets older, you'll uh, buy the beautiful new canoes and you notice after a few trips that you're going to have to have to do a little maintenance on these Kevlar and fiberglass canoes. So we thought we'd show you what we do to patch these holes. Uh, it's a fairly simple process and uh, what you're going to need, what I use, I don't know exactly, uh, you know I'm not a body man but this is what we do. I usually clean off the spot with some paint thinner. We're going to be using some fiberglass resin and fiberglass cloth and put a patch. This happens to be a fiberglass canoe, but it works for Kevlar canoes too. So uh, that's the first thing we're going to do this year. We'll start out right now cleaning up the area. You want to get any kind of wax, anything like that off of here. Uh, that's good. You're going to have to rough up the area so the fiberglass resin is going to stick. So I've got some 100 grit sandpaper, 150, anything like that will work. want to get it clean and uh, roughed up so there's just no nothing foreign on there but the fiberglass. If you're doing this and you have some questions, you know, I'm sure if you call the canoe manufacturers, they'd probably give you some hints. Uh, I've done that myself. But just doing the best you can usually works pretty good. We put a lot of these patches on. The, this canoe is uh, maybe 12 years old. I bought it new. There's probably oh, seven or eight patches like this on it already. The next step is going to be cutting our patch that we're going to be putting on here. And uh, this hole is about that long. It's a crease. We hit some rock. It's a straight long line like that. You want the patch to cover over about two inches all the way around that area. So I'll do that right now. I cut this. Try to trim off the edges. Make it nice and neat. I make rounded corners. I'm going to mix that resin up now. And if you uh, read on the, just read the instructions on the can. I'm going to mix maybe two ounces of resin. The directions say 12 drops of hardener per ounce. If you're not right on with this, it, usually, it works pretty good. If you have a little less, it takes a little longer to harden. If you have a little too much, it might harden a little fast on you. But if you're close, usually it works pretty good. Here we go. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now it's important to get it mixed real good. Uh, you can't just drop it in there. Mix it, stir it up real good. 
if I'm doing several patches, uh, I'll buy myself a kind of a cheap paintbrush and I'll use that for putting this resin on. But we're just doing one patch today. And uh, I bought myself a small roller and uh, it's a throwaway foam roller and that's what I'm going to use on on this patch. It doesn't have to be sloppy thick. It has to be enough so that your patch will stick to your canoe. Once you get it on like that, you'll notice it saturates the cloth, which is what you really need. A little more resin. and it soaks right in, adheres to the canoe, just real nice. Once it's all soaked in, you're going to be done. got a deep hole or a large ragged hole you probably want to do the inside of the boat and the outside but uh, this is pretty simple straightforward uh, little crease in the canoe think we got it on LaCroix Lake, Lake last year because I remember my feet getting wet started to leak that's about it when this dries in about an hour, it'll be dry to the touch probably in five or ten minutes, but uh, I usually leave it at least overnight. And uh, once it's done, don't sand it. Just leave it the way it is. Leave the final coat the way it is. Uh, if you sand it, you really need to put something over the top or it's going to discolor. But if you just leave it the clear coat like that, uh, all done should be good hopefully it'll last for years at least for the summer um, but usually they just last forever so uh, thanks that's Jim from bwcacast.com